In today's episode, a major web service goes down, a new LLM model is released, and we get a new VS Code fork. So yeah, it's essentially a rerun episode. Cloudflare had a major outage on Tuesday. It was down for about four hours, and Cloudflare is one of those services where when it goes down, it takes like half the internet with it. What happened was a config file got way bigger than it should have been, and it basically overloaded Cloudflare's routers. Twitter went dark, ChatGPT went dark. I mean, you couldn't even tell what sites were down because Down Detector uses Cloudflare, so it was down. That's like your smoke alarm catching on fire. A whopping 20% of the internet uses Cloudflare for caching and security. I think the other 80% are just so thirsty for traffic, they're welcoming any bot they can get. It's supposed to protect you from stuff like DDoS, so Cloudflare taking down websites is like getting beaten up by your own bodyguard. I feel bad for anyone who has to explain this to their boss. Wait, why do we use Cloudflare? So our website won't go down. Right, and why is our website down? Because we use Cloudflare. Okay, so why do we use Cloudflare? You might remember that back in October, AWS went down, then Azure went down, and now Cloudflare went down. It's like celebrity deaths, but for infrastructure. Google, the search company that doesn't want you to click on search results, just announced their new AI model, Gemini 3. Now, I'm only wondering one thing. Is it their most intelligent model? It's our most intelligent model. Wow! Oh my. They crushed it. Amazing. Wow. I thought they might go backwards, but good job, guys. Three is better than two. You did it. Now, it's not unusual for the latest Frontier model to jump to the head of the pack, but Gemini leaps ahead in a few categories. At least until Mercury is in retrograde, then it performs a lot more like a Virgo, you know? It tests especially well on visual understanding, coding, and a handful of other things like math and reasoning. It's so good people might actually start using an AI by Google? Ugh, it's weird to think about. For the three people out there who actually use AI mode in Google search, Gemini 3 will now code interactive tools for you on the fly, so now you can have bugs directly in your search results. But if instead you want a headless page builder directly in your website, you should be using Prismic, our sponsor. Prismic is a headless page builder that deeply integrates with Next.js, Nuxt, and SvelteKit. You create reusable page components and Prismic takes care of things like type generation and API connections. Plus, Prismic's MCP server and other great AI tools make development faster than ever. It is the best way to keep your content team moving quickly while keeping everything consistent and on brand. Get started at prismic.io and tell them a video sent you. Google also announced a new IDE called Anti-Gravity, and yeah, you already know what it is. It's another VS Code fork with AI agents right on top, baby. That's it. That's what we're getting. What do you want for Christmas? I hope it's that. I'm almost positive this is how big companies come up with products now. Employee, we need a new product. All right, boss, I'll spin the product idea wheel. An IDE, okay, okay. Now spin the innovation wheel. And then, we add AI to it? Incredible. Wait till the shareholders get a load of this. We probably should have expected an AI IDE, considering Google paid $2.4 billion for some of Windsurf's top people and technology back in July. Now that anti-gravity is here, it's got a few notable features. The playground mode lets you quickly spin up a vibe code -y kind of project without any setup. As anti-gravity agents work, they open and control a browser window. It uses it to test the look and functionality of what it's building by clicking, typing, and even recording the screen. It's similar to Cursor's built-in browser, but seems even more capable. Anti-gravity lands right after Cursor announced their $2.3 billion Series D, where Google's one of the investors. So Google is just playing all sides at this point. This release means that Google's IDE is a fork of Microsoft's IDE, and Microsoft's browser is a fork of Google's browser. This is just how trillion dollar companies swap lunches. This has been The Callback. My name is Alex Trost. Please like and subscribe. Join us next time to see what company spins the product wheel of innovation. It makes an LLM browser IDE chat box. At least until Mercury is in retrograde, then it performs more like a Virgo. Yeah, uh, astrology nerds, send me your hate mail. I don't... Drop it in the comments. All right, as always, bosses on this side. We know that this is my bossy face side.